Rebecca. Hi, Christina. Good to um, see you. Good to see you as well. Thanks for joining us here in our Policy Lab discussion today. Thank you so much for inviting me. So I wanted to talk to you about the rapid adoption of AI and the acceleration of innovation today. Um, it's prompted a lot of commentary, obviously. Uh, and among the tech community, one major theme has been how AI is designed. Uh, and the partnership in AI has been supportive of an open innovation approach. Uh, why do you think that's the best approach? Great question. So uh, I think when we think about open innovation, we need to think about inclusive innovation. So yes, that means open source or open access to models and what that provides in terms of external oversight and greater um, economic uh, innovation in the disbursement of those models. But it also means thinking about who's around the table when we are developing those models and how do we make sure that those models are developed to serve the communities that they're intended for. Yeah, um, and as far as protections, right, what protections do you think need to be in place to prevent open AI innovation from being misused? I mean, there are obvious misuses, uh, reasons, you know, AI could be misused for surveillance purposes, manipulation, uh, or other harmful purposes. Um, and uh, do you think there are misconceptions around AI open innovation and open source being unsafe? I think the interesting misconception is this almost duality or binary choice that more closed models are safer and more open models are less safe. And you know, as, as well as I, that in fact there's a full spectrum of methods and approaches that businesses are going to choose about how they release their models. There aren't just an open model and a closed model, right? And all sorts of ways that you can build into protections into those models. So uh, you were very much part of our process last year in developing our guidelines for safe foundation model deployment. And that really was a set of 22 guidelines all the way from early R&D and development through to post-deployment monitoring. And each one of those guidelines was asking the question, how do we ensure no matter what your business choices are about how you deploy your models, that you are putting in place safeguards to ensure that they are going to be safe once deployed. And uh, so I, I think the misconception is that there's this trade-off yeah. when in fact we know we need to be able to develop all sorts of different guidelines across all sorts of different approaches. Yeah, yeah, I mean the conversation definitely is beyond just open or closed for sure. Uh, in DC and globally, at you know, IBM, we've long been advocating for a risk-based approach to regulation. Um, what are the Partnership on AI's top recommendations to policymakers when it comes to like how, how to govern AI? First and foremost, lean in, right? Get educated, get up to speed, make sure that you are developing technical capability and understanding on your team and in the wider agencies that that are developing AI for government so that you can really start to understand how these systems work. Um, I like to say, you know, there's a toolkit of approaches, right? There are some things that need to be regulated, absolutely no doubt, but there's all sorts of other approaches from procurement through to innovation policy, through to using your influence, right? And the persuasion that you have uh, as a government uh, body in terms of providing some protection as well. So I, I want uh, governments to lean in. And I think the executive order, you know, really tried to be quite comprehensive in looking at all sorts of different approaches to, um, to making sure that there was good regulatory um, and government engagement in, in the development of AI. And we're starting to see different models in different jurisdictions, right, in terms of how that's happening. But lean in, understand, you know, get to know what the technology is, and then figure out what the right levers are that you need to pull on. Yeah, great advice, great advice. Well, thank you for the conversation today. Thank you.